Alright, so I just did a little training session at Momentum. I did a campus board workout, which I don't do a lot, um, but today I just wanted to kind of go over my thoughts on campusing, because I know a lot of times I see people are just way scared of campusing and maybe they could really use it, or on the other end, people are campusing like they've been climbing for a couple months and their form is really bad and they're just really putting themselves out there for injury. I'm just going to go over a few things that I think are important campusing and what I do when I campus. Alright, let's get into it. So, I was climbing at Mill Creek the other day. Um, they have a pretty sweet new training setup. But here I am just kind of getting warmed up. What I want to start with is some of the basic forms in campusing that I think is pretty important. And those two things are shoulder and elbow engagement and then core engagement. So um, I have a couple examples of the bad form campusing here. These first ones I'm using a bit of momentum. So the issue with this is I'm not really engaging my core and the the problem with that is you don't use the pull muscles that you're trying to actually work on when you're campusing. So here I am, yep, kind of like using a little momentum to swing and it really really just defeats the purpose of campusing I'd say like generally you're trying to improve your arm power and that momentum makes it so you don't use your arms as much and then the next thing is not engaging so I see this one a lot with newer climbers and it can be really hard on the shoulder joints and um, you're just a lot more likely to injure yourself this way so if if you can't engage your shoulders very well and your elbows then pull-ups are probably where you should start off and build up a little more of that strength before you go on to campusing um, all right these last two tries are with the proper form so i'm really engaging my core my body isn't really swinging it moves a little but the goal is to have no swing. I kind of move my body to where I need it before I do each move. That way I don't swing and then my arms are staying engaged. And that's roughly what, what you should aim for with your camp sing. All right, so this workout, it's a new one I just started doing. I really like camp sing boulders because it gives you that full range of movement with the campus board a lot of it's just straight up and down but in climbing generally you're moving left and right and you need different shoulder muscles and back muscles that allow you to do that so what I've been doing is I go on the moon board and everything's pretty hard on there so I've just been doing the benchmark v3s and I give a try and then I rest three minutes and I just swipe through all of them. I think there's only like six boulders on the app right now. Um, so that usually works pretty well. This was the hardest the hardest of the V3s. Um, just big one-arm pulls and I'm trying not to match. So the goal for me with these campus workouts isn't just to get to the top of the boulder, it's to climb them well. So I'm trying to really lock the moves off as much as I can because that's specifically what I'm working on is my lock off strength. Um, the more you know about your weaknesses, the easier it is to train. It's all about being specific with your training. So, so my goals, I'm just going to keep repeating these V3s and then if they start to feel easy, I'll probably do this two days a week. Then I'll maybe bump it up to the V4s. Um, yeah, another thing is like hold size. If you're trying to build your finger strength, you could maybe do smaller moves on worse holds. I like campsing because it just kind of, it's almost like climbing with a weight vest on. Everything is harder, but you're still getting that climbing movement in that's going to help you train or help you be more prepared for whatever projects you have. See, a lot of them, the first move is actually the hardest because my butt is like so close to the ground. I can't generate. I'm like started halfway locked off. So this one, 
I do, I think, let's see. Yeah, I do it with this hold. The goal will be to do without that hold. Um, I think it's a foot, but I needed a little bump off of it. And then the, the end isn't too bad. But overall, I would say, I think camping can be a great workout if you're looking for more of the upper body strength, like overall kind of arm, like lock off and power, pull power. Um, I haven't used camping a lot. I think it is something I could benefit a lot from because generally I feel like the hardest moves for me are the ones that are a little bit more open and I usually rely on my finger strength, but sometimes you can't do that when the holds get really spread apart. And that's, that's it for today.